Hi everyone. I hope everyone's having a great Saturday. I've got a couple of projects that I need to get done for that Art42 um, group that I'm in. And I was supposed to have them in the mail by today already, so I'm going to have to get working on it and get them in the mail quickly. Uh, one of them was that ABCD tiles, the alphabet tiles, so I'm on E, F, G, and H. So what I did is I took those exact same letters from before. Just going to grab the box here. And they are called Colorful Life from DCWV. And they're glittery, but I love the size. They're just perfect for the 4x4 four four tiles. So what I did, I wanted them to be like naked chipboard. I'm going to color them with the Pickled Raspberry Distress Ink. And so it's so simple to take off this glitter um, topping. I mean, I like it. It's just not suitable for what I want. So the first thing I did was peel off. They have a sort of a sticker element to them, and they, they're not sticking that well, but that's okay. I can sand that down if they are, but I just want to get that shiny surface off so when you do adhere them on, they're going to stick to whatever surface that you're creating, like your tiles. So on the front side here, you just kind of poke it. You can use tweezers or your nail, fingernail, and it will just peel off that top layer because it's just a layer of paper. See? Just like that. And then once you get it all off, it'll look like this. And this came off quite smoothly, but if it doesn't, you can lightly sand it. And then you can just turn it upside down your ink and it will color it. So I'm going to get all those colored up. And then I had, I think I'm going to go with a sewing theme for this next four tiles because I had some scrap pages left over from a journal I was creating. So I cut them three and three quarter inches and then I'm going to place them on a piece of cardstock in a coordinating color of which I do not know yet. So these ones, two out of this and two out of this sheet. Then I had in my die cuts, you know when you're in a big hurry sometimes I cut things out and I place them in empty little bottles like this. I have a whole bunch of spools because when you're kind of in a hurry to get a project done, it's nice to have things already pre-cut. So I had a naked one, and then I had some. I'm not sure who it was on YouTube, but they had said to keep your cardboard egg containers and cut them out, and then you get unique graphics. This is just from eggs. Look at the buttons. And there's graphics on them already. So, I mean, one step is already done. These are awesome, and they came from eggs. So yeah, that's a good little tip, and I'm so glad that I did, because now I have all of these. Um, look at this one. You would think, I even had to look myself, you would think that that was stamp text or something. That's just from the egg curtain. Isn't that awesome? So I'm going to use those spools and those buttons, and I'm going to get started.
my finished 4x4 tiles, the next in the alphabet series at Art 42. So um, I had no idea what I was going to do when I started. I just sat onto my table. There was some of this paper, as I mentioned before, just sitting on my desk. So I thought I'll go with a, a sewing theme. So you saw the process. So I kind of um, I used the gold paint to um, paint over top of distress stain that I'd put on there. And I believe it was that um, gathered twigs, yeah. And so then I put gold paint and then I tried to crackle it, but it didn't really crackle that well. But that's okay. You know, you go with what you got, hey? I put the distress stain around the pattern paper and then I wrapped, I have this Christmassy yarn. Can you see all sparkles in it? And I used that for our craft sale and I knit um, Baby's first pair of ruby slippers with it. And it has such a pretty sparkle. It's still here on my desk. I just love it. Look at that. So I thought I'd wrap that down, pretend that it was thread, and then I popped the same uh, thread yarn inside of the button, and I ran, you saw me run the letters through my crimper, and then just touch it up with a little bit of gold paint. I use gold paint now instead of that buffing powder. It's so much cheaper. I got that... Um, tip from Roxycar11 here on YouTube to use gold metallic paints instead of buffing, rubbing, buffing stuff. It's way cheaper and it has the exact same effect. So there I use some lace trim that I distressed inked. And yeah, so that's how they looked. Oh, I made um, some little stick pins that were already started with the little plastic there. Some seed pearls and then a pearl and just glued them in. So on the back I used, um, it was like an old file folder, just some old brown uh, cardstock and I cut it 4x4 four four and put it on the back of the brown uh, cardstock. And then I used a cat's eye press stamp that says Handmade Art uh, by Monica and my name on Art42 is Dula Nana because these go all over the world so you want to make sure that the person knows what your name is on Art42. And then what they will do is they give you, they call it karma, they give you feedback on um, your profile page, which is kind of fun. So there are my E, F, G, and H, and I cannot wait to get them all back. I'm sure it'll probably take a year to get the whole alphabet back, but what I, I think I mentioned it in the first video, I'm going to make a wall mural with the entire alphabet because each letter is going to be different so I'm just going to mount them all together. I just think it's going to look really really cool. And one thing I wanted to mention too, underneath here my kind of messed up page from inking and stamping and everything, I will save all of this. I will cut this out in a square shape or something. You can always use these. This can even be a page when you're making those uh, recycled journals out of um, boxes you can cut this in a shape that this can be one of your page or a tag and here because that ink was so juicy I had to double stamp so I've got one two three four handmade art stamps that I can save so look at all your uh, supposed garbage before you throw it out because you probably could use it so I'm going to quickly get these in the mail I've got one more project that I have to get done. I'm making some um, prayer flags. So I've got to get those in the mail and they're going all the way to Switzerland or Sweden. So yeah, I'm going to have a busy day of crafting. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.